Good morning, folks. Real fast, these channels are not me. We got some copycats. They use an O in observers instead of a zero. They created these channels yesterday. At least one of them is going around to other channels pretending to be me saying some bad stuff. I trust you're all way too smart to fall for this. This is two-week-old Ovation Prime data showing you only because they've now flipped the color scale and now have it following the east-west signal pathways. Would have expected that from the start. We had a gamma burst last night, first one in about a week, coming from way down south in Constellation Vela. I was wrong about the data missing here. I told you they usually put it back up the next day. I suppose whatever preceded this multi-line resonance is not for our eyes. I think Southeast Asia has had quite enough rain. Apparently Mother Earth disagrees. She's sending two more cyclones. Yesterday morning's good news was a quake slowdown. I should have knocked on wood. The North Pole began the day with a couple of tremors further north than we like to see. Mid-Atlantic Ridge was shaking in the morning as well. A few hours later, we had our fourth six-pointer of the quake watch. This one in Papua New Guinea. Then Puerto Rico began redefining the term earthquake swarm. The Corona hole stream is taking its sweet time, just beginning to build up. If you can see the yellow here, solar wind stream was settling near 300 kilometers per second and is now up pushing 400. As it ramps up, we have flares to deal with as well. The main focus is on the large M6 eruption. There was an M2 a bit ago as well. Fired off the southeastern limb, causing a radio blackout over the USA and Canada for a while. Looking at the CME with Lasco C3 as seen from Earth. You can see this bottom left eruption sends particles to the right of center and up here above the equatorial line. Right and up for a bottom left eruption means some is probably coming this way and the experts agree as you look at the Enlil spiral. The far right panel looks from behind Earth lined up directly with the sun. And that splash effect shows you uh, probably our best geoeffective CME predictor. NOAA has labeled nothing more dangerous than beta, and while it won't pull up for me right now, I promise the magnetogram shows that this is either beta gamma or beta gamma delta, and I also promise she's not done yet. Mercury conjoined the sun yesterday, so the quake watch is waning, but not over yet as the moon makes a monthly close approach to the Earth today, full moon in three days, and that coronal hole stream is still a factor. A couple more days of watch, that's the news folks. Be safe.